What's up YouTube, this is Arl Yoshi as usual, I'm a Luigi bringing you Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. I've gotten a few uh, requests before to play various horror games and whatnot, like Five Nights at Freddy's, Amnesia, things like that. I decided I would play the scariest game of them all, Luigi's Mansion. Welcome to your mansion. Or our mansion. Anyway, we're going to start this off now. Uh, yeah, we're just, <laughs> right, there's no like name input or anything like that. Uh, it's been a long time since I played this game. It was, like, almost a decade ago last time I played it, I think. I was definitely pretty young. Always liked this game, though. I also always loved the look of this mansion. Does it not just look so fabulous? I would totally love to live there. And it would probably make my insomnia worse. So if you have not played Luigi's Mansion, that's fine. This game is probably, like... It's one of the more known Mario titles, or Mario side titles, I guess. But surprisingly, it did not sell particularly well when it first came out for a little while. And... Yeah, this is not a traditional Mario game, just in case you can't tell. Welcome to the foyer. A lot of people will say foyer, but it is French. It is supposed to be foyer. Trust me. Alright. So we play as Luigi... And already you can tell, we cannot jump. However, we can call Mario's name, which is just as good. We head on up, we've got ourselves a little flashlight, and let's just move on through these doors. Cannot go through that one. How about this one? No, but apparently we're being laughed at for trying to go through the door. I do, obviously, like, this first little bit I've played several times... So it's kind of just going through the motions for me. And they've dropped a key. And now they're putting out the candles. Now, logically by this point, you would think Luigi of all people would just kind of turn around and leave. But then the game would be very short. So let's pick up this key. And also, <laughs> something I always found funny, it puts out the candles to be all super scary, but it kind of leaves the ones on the other side up. I think it puts out the ones on whatever side you came down from the door, but yeah, anyway. Let's use our key. Also, that key was definitely not that small when we picked it up. Anyone else think that doorknob kind of looks like a watermelon? <laughs> You will never unsee it. And now we enter into the... The parlor. And we see our new friend! Ladies and gentlemen, this is Orange. He is, a. Uh, oh, no, we meet this new friend instead. Apparently, uh, you know, who are you gonna call Ghostbusters? Apparently they were already called, so uh, we're a little late to the party. And he just got punched by a ghost. I don't know if that's supposed to hurt a lot or hurt only a little since ghosts aren't supposed to be able to touch anything. Ouch! Oof, I sure take a lot of knocks in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching Tom foolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor E. Gad. This house, I swear it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fella like you doing around here, anywho? Uh, apparently Orange is calling some friends. Uh oh, this looks ugly. Alright, youngster, look lively. Follow me, post haste. And welcome to the lab. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Hmm? Where's this, you ask? Why, these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Professor E. Gad's Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab, if you're of a shortening mind. You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy to me. So we're already getting some backstory. Apparently Luigi is a, a very lucky individual. He doesn't even enter contests and he wins stuff. And then he's unlucky because it's a haunted mansion. <laughs> so you believe the mansion actually exists then? Strange. Wait, <laughs> you believe it exists? I'm sorry, I always felt that line weird. It's like, you believe this mansion actually exists? We were just inside it. I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so, and I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. 
I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what all, but I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Now that I get a look at you, I just recall. A guy with a red hat, kind of like yours, went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. Was he a dream too? That sounds similar, or that sounds familiar. What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible! He wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You had to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Oh, yeah. yeah! So we have the controller setting. I am think I'm fine with just this. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergust 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. Use the R button to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. Do to do to do to do to do do to do to do. I can do the best maid work. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means. So you better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear. Or something to that effect. Ahem. <clears throat> well, how's about we start your training? Ghosts seem to like darkness and they avoid the light. So if you hit it with a flashlight beam all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily. Then it's vacuuming time. When you see your chance, hold down the R button until the controls stick in the opposite direction. Just give it a try. You'll learn more that way than just listening to me yap about it. So you can turn the flashlight off with B and then just... Or... Uh, buddy. There. Uh, I... I suck. Come back, please. Remember, as soon as you see a ghost heart, that's your chance to vacuum up. While vacuuming, tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, it, it, like I said, it's been a while since I played this. Oh, come on, I started doing it right away. When that surprise goes, heart or vacuum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let me get up close. There we go. Oh, there's another one now. Uh, yeah, the closer you are to the ghost, the more of a chance you actually have to grab them. Yeah, okay, I know. Shut up. Surprise them with the light when they get close. Pow, pow, the more the better. Got it? Alright, so you kind of want to just rapidly flick it in the opposite direction of the ghost. So basically towards you. Hey kid, shape up. You can't go looking for your brother the way you're carrying on. There, here they come. Come around, come one, come all. I want to say hello! And yes, you can catch multiple ones. Which is very useful. Alright. Catch a ghost means, means using the flashlight and the Poltergeist 3000 as a team. You get me, young feller? That'll do. Well, how many did you get? Yowzer, eight ghosts. Go get these ghouls, Luigi. I'd say you're ready to look for your brother now. Fine, fine. Looks like you worked up quite a sweat there. How about a little cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know. Alright, we're gonna go to the gallery just to kind of check it out. Off we go. It also gives us a little bit of more exposition. Yeah, this is his gallery. We have these things. We make them flap their wings. What do you have to say? Are you done appreciating art for today, Luigi? Uh, where am I? This is the gallery. This is where I hang all my paintings. Ghost portrait. Ba ghost paintings, that is. When I was young, I designed a machine to turn ghosts into paintings, and I traveled the world collecting them. Oh, it was glamorous, I tell you. Well then, now I have to tell you a horrifying story. The last ghost I caught was number 22, Boo Lassus. But there are lots of boos, and King Boo rallied them all to take revenge upon me. They used my machine to free Boo Lassus from the painting. Then they went and turned all my other portraits back into ghosts, too. As if that weren't enough, they built a mansion in front of my lab in the space of a single night, and then they all hid inside. If I told anybody else this stuff, they'd probably have me committed. I'm sure my portrait ghosts are somewhere inside the mansion. I just have to get them back. What's a GB whore? Yeah, I think I might have... I shouldn't have touched the angel. I shouldn't have worded it that way. I should not have pressed A on the angel immediately because he would have told me a bit more about everything going on at the moment, but now I got kind of just selected. Uh, what's a GB horror? I designed the Game Boy Horror as a communications terminal. It has all sorts of functions. For example, you can press the Z button to see a list of the items you've picked up. Give it a try after you get some coins. Of course, you'll also be able to see portrait ghosts there once you capture some. You can also use the Y button to display a map of the mansion. The display will color the rooms as you visit them. Check the map if you ever get lost. Got all that, Sunny? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you can, like, the uh, Z's right here. Yeah, so you can see this, and then you can press Y. And then you can also press X and do this. To search things. It's a statue. 
A very tall angel statue by the looks of it. Yeah, Luigi actually talks in here if you use this thing. Also, freaking inverted stick controls. I hate that. Alright, anyway. Yeah, I'm done appreciating art. Let's go back to the lab. Alright then. Where did you go, Luigi? So, basically, you get to choose between the mansion, the training room, and the gallery. But obviously, we want to go to the mansion. Yeah, for now, Luigi. I'm going to see this cutscene real quick. Goodbye. Yeah, his lap is kind of small. Maybe it's bigger on the inside. Here we are, and you weren't here before. Oh, oh, oh. Where did you go, Mario? Wah, wah. Huh? Luigi? I'm not going to do a toad voice for this guy. Wah. Wow, it's Luigi. You finally made it. Oh, joy. Thank goodness. Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you'd won a mansion, and he never returned. The, then when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts, and I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I kind of freaked out a little, and I didn't know what to do. It's been awful. Please, 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 you have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. Leave it to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yay. Thanks, Luigi. You made my dark and stormy night. And the lights come on. I wish I could do something to help you. Wait, I've got it. At least let me do this. Toads are how you save your game. Talk to me for help anytime. Alright, uh, so... Professor E. Cat didn't really go over it because I ended up skipping it a bit. But we have a Game Boy Horror, which is, you know, a Game Boy Color designed for this stuff. And we can... Just basically, we can look at all that stuff that I showed earlier. I should not have skipped past things. You can also get some money from around here. Like, there's this trail of coins right here. We can't go through that door yet. So let's head back to the parlor here. Get some coins. Now, uh, the money in here is not exactly a requirement. Uh, it's how you get some good rankings. Uh, like, kind of at the end of the game. It's one of the things for your progress and whatnot. I'm going to be collecting money as I see it and whatnot. I'll try to find any money spots I know about. But, uh, I won't be going for 100%. Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green? Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. They love the dark, and now they will get you blue hair! Now you're in for it. <laughs> Just lick that little red cap before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever! Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you, huh? <laughs> here they are now! Now we fight ghosts for real. There are various different types of ghosts, so don't worry. It's not all just going to be the orange guys. However, they have a tendency to appear behind you. Uh, excuse me. Never mind. Also, be careful of the spikes on those uh, doors. If you try to go through them, then you're going to get hurt. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, don't punch me, buddy. I think those are called, like, uh, golden ghouls or something like that. Even though they're orange. I don't even know the name. Or golden ghosts or whatever. Anyway, we've got a key. A very large key, which I swear to God, shrinks down in cutscenes. And whenever you get a key, it shows you which door that the key actually opens. Which is very helpful. We can also skip that cutscene. We don't need to watch it every time. And now, welcome to the anteroom. You're mine. Alright, so basically, for the first little bit, this game is basically go into a room, catch some ghosts, the room lights up, and then you can progress. It's like that for this first little bit. It changes a bit at, uh, as time goes on. That's a purple puncher right there, even though it's more magenta. Come on out, ghosties. I'm not going to hurt you much. And... You're mine. And yeah, if you catch two or more ghosts at once, you get hearts. There are other ways to get hearts as well, but, you know, you can do that, basically. That was all taken care of nice and easy. Alright. Let me look in these real quick to get some money. Something weird about this game is that there's coins and whatnot, but there's also dollar bills. So either this is not in the Mushroom Kingdom, or, like, the Mushroom Kingdom also uses bills. We just always see the coins. And there's gold bar. As you can see down there at the bottom, it keeps track of our... Those are our main basic sources of money. Coins are, you know, small amounts. Dollar bills are a bit more. And then gold bars are the most. There are some other things as well, like pearls and gems. 
but those those you gotta open up the menu to take a look at. Uh, if I recall, go no 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 stop. Did I gotcha? This is a speedy spirit. It drops lots of money. And I want to start picking it all up. So give me a moment. And and that there is like a gar trash garbage can ghost or something. Trash can ghost. I don't know. Point. He drops banana peels. He eats bananas and then he drops the peels and you can slip on them when you're trying to suck them up. He'll also be throwing them down while you're trying to suck them up. And you'll notice he has 40 HP, which is probably seems like a lot this early. Fortunately, you can just suck up the banana peels. But yeah, speedy spirits, there are a finite number of them throughout the game in preset locations. I do not know all of them. I probably won't be showing all of them. But basically, uh, if you catch them, you get a lot of money, but they'll also fly around like crazy and you may lose them. There are also golden mice that appear. Uh, there are, again, a finite number of them, but a lot of times their locations are random. Okay, their locations aren't random, but their uh, chance of appearing is basically random. Or other times you just have to examine some cheese, and I think there's just... There you go. You just have to, like, examine some cheese to make them appear. Um, those also drop a lot of money when you catch them, but I pro again, I don't necessarily know all their locations. I especially don't know, like, any of the locations where there's just a random chance of them showing up. It's usually, like, in hallways or something, though. Alright, uh, yeah, we finished up in here, more or less. Let me just open this up. Yeah, you got some money in there. Also, examine the chandelier, chandelier because, yep, yeah, give me a bit of health. Typically, uh, chandeliers and lighting fixtures can have money or health in them. And right out here, we find another toad. Wah, wah, Mario, where are you? Wah, deja vu. Huh, Luigi? Yes, Luigi, how lucky that you found me. I feel so much better now. Please, please save Mario. I looked everywhere. I can't find him. Where is he? All right, you can use this toad to save, which I will do real quick. I'm probably going to save every chance I get. And also, uh, you see out there, there's like a little graveyard. We'll be going there in a long time. Well, a long time, I just mean like a little while, I guess. This game is a, this is actually a decently short game. Like, I'm probably going to be attempting to do this whole thing in one session. Not like you'll really notice or be affected. But basically, this, this is a pretty short game, which is uh, one of the many reasons it gets uh, criticism, criticism. But hang on, let me see this. Hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor E. Gad. Yeah, because I have so many other contacts on this thing. I detect spirits stronger than we've seen yet seen lurking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button to search its heart for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise him. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Yep, gallery ghosts coming up. Or portrait ghosts, technically, but yeah. Well, yeah, one of the main reasons this game gets a lot of criticism is because it's actually pretty short. I bet this is not a trap at all. Yeah, be on the lookout for those. It also takes exactly long enough to come back up so that your hearts disappear. Or, not hearts, your coins disappear. Let's go in here. Now, this, I know, is where one of the uh, mice are, so... Wrong thing. I don't know if I successfully... Hang on, let me sit that book. Alright, let's try this again. Yep, alright, and that gets me an emerald, too. There's emeralds, there's sapphires, there's rubies, and there's diamonds. I think those are the main gems. There are some others, but those are the main ones that you can find throughout the mansion. Once again, I don't know the locations of all of them. I am not attempting to 100%, etc. And here's the first ghost. Let's, uh, see what he has to say. Ho, ho, ho. Go ahead. Try to find me. I can see you, but you cannot see me. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, that's uh, not a very good clue. Fortunately, this guy's pretty easy. You don't look at him. He's reading a book. And eventually... Haha! -ha, he decides to yawn. Now, how well you do on these bosses determines a ranking that you get for them. If you, at any point, uh, suck up 90 of their health in one go like I just did, you get a gold rank. 
I don't know the exact requirements for silver rank, but I know if you don't get silver rank, you get bronze rank. Listen. Basically, uh, you notice he drops pearls. I got four small, four medium, and one large. The large pearl only drops if you suck up uh, 90 of their health in one go. Uh, and if you get one of those, then you get the gold rank. If you get one of the medium pearls, you get the silver rank. I do not know off the top of my head what is the requirement for that one, though. That's only for the regular portrait ghost, though. Uh, and you'll see what I mean by that in a little bit. For now, though. Uh, yeah. Now we've got the next one. But first, I'm just... We're in the master bedroom. I'm pretty sure if you s keep spinning this... Yep, you get a money. You you get a money. You get money. You get lots and lots of money. That then flies all around the freaking room. Alright, and uh, there's a woman sitting there. Let's take a look at her. In a non-creepy way. Because she's the creepy one. Isn't my hair just gorgeous? Of course, I do spend a lot of time on it. I was so bored cooped up in that painting. Now I spend all my time in front of the mirror. It seems to scare people, though, so everything is coming up roses. Yeah, search their heart for clothes. No, that does not seem to work. However, if you do that... Oh dear, such a draft. I completely missed my chance there. I gotta do it like right like before she actually gets up. I thought it didn't matter. Whoops. Well, I fucked up. Whatever. I didn't get any help from that. Alright. It's fine. I completely just let go of the trigger there. Yeah, you don't actually need to shine your light on the portrait ghosts, but it will stun them to make it easier to start sucking them up. Also, you gotta be careful, because you might have noticed last time they throw out poison mushrooms eventually. If those hit you... Ah, crap. If those hit you, you shrink down, and then you can't use your vacuum for a little bit. Uh, well, I'm getting a silver rank on her. Ah, well. And, come on. And, you're mine. Oof. Alright, let's grab all these pearls. The pearls are worth a decent amount of money, so it's always good to pick them when we have a chance. Hi, Toad! Hi! I'm knocking on the wall to say hello to you. I think this is Morse code or something. What's up? All right, anyway. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. Get ourselves the key. This key goes to the room that's right out there. Hmm, all right. Whoops. I need to open the door. Thank you. There is something bad in that room. And, uh... You know what? I think we'll check out what's in that room in the next episode. So, I've been Max, and this has been Luigi's Mansion. And we'll see you next time when we see just what was crying in that room.